Welcome or welcome back on Cisco. In this uh, video clip, we're going to have a short discovery about multiple zeros and multiplicity of polynomial function. So, first thing, um, you know, this is the factor theorem. And let's see an example here, which, which is right here, right? If we have a polynomial in the factor form like this guy, yeah, we can get the zeros very fast, right? x equals 0 x equals negative 4 and x equals 2 right these are the zeros of polynomial f of x but what's happened if we have a polynomial like this you see now g of x has an x square right and we still have x equals 0 as a 0 but we call that a multiple 0 and we call that a multiplicity of 2 because you have a power of 2 in other words we have x times x there, right? So we have one time x equals 0 and the second time x equals 0. That's the reason we call that multiplicity 2. Okay, so let's see here uh, two examples. Find the zero of each function, state the multiplicity of multiple zero. So the zero for number 20, 21 are x equals 0 and x equals 1. And because we have this power of 3 here, we call this one multiplicity 3. And now if we look to number 22, similar, we have two zeros, x equals 2 and x equals negative 1. And this x equals 2 is multiplicity 2. Okay. And now, in the next part we will have the activity here of the discovery, we're going to look to the behavior of the graph, uh, pretty much like number 22. So, on the first part of this activity, we look into find the zeros of uh, this uh, function, and obviously we notice all of them are the same, x equals 0, x equals 4, the same here. The only difference here x equals 0 is twice, x equals 0 three times, x equals 0 four times. So multiplicity 2, 3, and 4. And now we're going to look to the graphs. And the first graph, it's pretty, uh, for that reason, we're going to use uh, GeoGebra. We're going to use uh, this graph in calculator. And let's see the graph. And if you take a look, this is the way the uh, graphing app it looks on GeoGebra we're gonna type an equation here and we're gonna get a picture here so the first equation I'm gonna type in is x times x plus 4 the first one and you notice yeah we get those zeros I mentioned before 0 and 4 and uh, that's the thing we're looking at this is a minimum but we really don't need that in this activity uh, we're just looking to the zeros and the next graph I'm gonna type in is x squared times x plus 4, right? Again, we can see the same zeros, but there is a difference here if you notice when x equals 0, which has a multiplicity of 2, right? When the graph goes down, touch, and goes back. And by the way, this graph probably looks something like this. Okay? Very, very interesting behavior in my opinion. Well, let's see what's happened when we have the third one, x cubed, right? You see now x cubed times x plus 4, so the same zeros, x equals 4, 0, and x equals negative 4, which we see them here. And look at here to the behavior of this graph, right? It cross here at 4, it's going to come back somewhere, Not, I, I just exaggerate here, it's going to do this behavior here, and then it's going to go up, right? If we're still saying that the, the graph cross the x-axis at 0, it's not like the previous one, right? Where you touch it, the graph, and go back. And the last one we have is x to the 4 power, right? x to the 4 power and x plus 4. So obviously we have x equals 0, x equals negative 4, which you see them here. And also now you notice a similar behavior with uh, the one of the functions we had before. Yeah, the graph will turn somewhere here, and then it touched it x-axis and go back okay so here you have the summary 
of all these four things we, we discuss about, we uh, use GeoGebra for, and we notice two types of behavior. One type of behavior, the graph cross the x-axis, period, right? The same thing here, it's crossing. When does it happen? When the multiplicity is add, add, you see? Here we have x equals zero one time, here we have x equals zero three times. The graph is crossing the graph there. Yeah, it's true, here is a very interesting behavior. You'll learn later about that behavior. Uh, but still, the graph crosses the x-axis. Since, on this one, when we have an even number of multiplicity, right? x equals 0 is a multiplicity of 2 here, x equals 4 is multiplicity 4 there. The graph touch at x equals 0 and then goes back up in that case. The same story here, touching here and then go up, right? So these are the two behaviors you can have for add multiplicity and even multiplicity. And I do have something similar with uh, a different function, um, a different set of function, in fact, and you can see here the four graphs. The same story. Add multiplicity. It cross and then that's it. Even multiplicity. It touches, it touches the x-axis and go back on. It does not cross the x-axis. And one more, where we have a, a original function, the first function is a cubic and then obviously uh, we have a larger degree, but you can see the same behavior, right? Uh, that x equals 2, right? x equals 2, which is right here. Cross, cross. Uh, here, when the multiplicity is even, touching, touching the x-axis and go back. Okay, so let's see two easy examples now. Find the zeros of a function, function and stay the multiplicity of multiple zero. So here, the zero are x equals zero and x equals one. And obviously this one is multiplicity three. Okay. And what do we expect to get as a graph? We do expect to get as a graph uh, x equals 0, the first 0, x equals 1. Okay, we do expect uh, to get uh, a 4 degree, right? This is a 4 degree, it's going to be something of x to the 4 power. So up, up, the behavior. So it's going to come from left up, going to go down, it's going to turn somewhere. And here is going to be something like that. Uh, if you do not have this inflection, how it's called, uh, do not worry. Uh, that is the idea. And you can see it here on GeoGebra, how the graph really looks like, right? Okay, what about the second one? Think a little bit. The zero are x equals two, and x equals one. This is multiplicity two. Okay, because of this exponent. Okay, and how does the graph look like? Looks like, look at, let's take a look here. Again, we have one and two as the zeros. Okay, this will be a third degree, right? Here is gonna be an x squared times an x is gonna be a third degree overall a polynomial. So, I know a positive leading coefficient, by the way. So we have, uh, down, up, left, down, right, up. So we're gonna come back here. We're gonna go from down here. We're gonna cross, right? Because this is multiplicity one. We're gonna come back somewhere. And here the graph is gonna touch and go back. So this is pretty much the graph for number 22, which you'll see it in a moment here using 
GeoGebra. Okay. If you enjoyed this video clip, don't forget to click the like button down right and come back and see square for more uh, mad video clips.